Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. Last time we were trying to figure out how to fit the gear assembly into the box without dropping our fingers. We decided it was easier to mill out a piece of the flange so we could slide in the assembled whole gear train from the side rather than try and fiddle it through a tiny little hole. And it works quite well. You can see here the gear selector mechanism <laughs> being slid in without the gears attached. So we pop that on the bench ready to assemble. But in the meantime, was the pheasant plucker rally so we went over to there there's me with the pheasant and it was a right good laugh a right good weekend by the 623 motorcycle club looks like it's all blokes but it's not it's a fair mix of people really well organized and a great weekend so thank you for that absolutely top top party lots of bikes there lots of people really good attendance and quite a few trikes as well i do like a trike and it's surprising the number of trikes that are on the road now in the uk you don't need to wear a helmet if it's a motorbike based trike and i think that's absolutely fabulous i think this one won the best trike in xj 900 trike a few bikes as well really nice harley custom and everybody loves a rat bike don't they a bit of an r6 rat there by the sound of it um motor guzzy and then some nice british iron that people actually use even though it's wet which is brilliant anyway back in the shed uh we got everything assembled and you can see here how it yeah, how it disassembles now that we've assembled it all so you can see the um, the gear assembly here's mr bob just pulling it out it's a bit of a jir -jir -jir jiggle granville as they say uh in the old british sitcom but it does all assemble and disassemble quite nicely and that that sort of milled out flange it milled that hole in the side of the flange works quite well for removing the whole gear train and gear assembly in one unit and assembling it in one unit as well so when the gearbox is bolted to the bike we can take the gear chain in and out if we need to sorry gear train uh, without taking the gearbox out of the bike and that works quite well so a few things to do though we still got to fit the detent in so the detent is the little springy thing that holds it in neutral and holds it in gear neutral is the biggest one because when it's in gear the the undercut on the dogs will hold it in gear but when it's in neutral we don't want the vibration of the engine to accidentally slide it into gear and the detent will hold it in position so the detent's got a thread we've been cutting a couple of uh, trial threads there it's a 16 uh, millimeter metric fine even though it's from a norton gearbox so we bought the tap and we've been trying a few trial tapped holes there we've got all the tools lined up here to do that there's the tap pilot drill for the spot face cutter at three eighths there's a spot face cutter and then we go and drill the tapping size drill and then tap it so we've, we've done the test piece we're going to put that into the gearbox so that we can have a detent but before we do that got to wash the guzzy having been away and figure out what to do with this big piece of tough null nylon that a nice guy called grog bought me so cheers grog thanks for dropping it in really nice to meet you it'll probably go in the center of here but that's for next weekend as usual thank you for watching more updates will follow